Yeah, it's like quite far that one. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what the deal is uh, like with Trump and that. Well, it's probably it's now that he's on the same bad EV thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can I think he's going to be in the house for a bit, like. Yeah, well, that's a lot of fun, aren't it? Yeah. Please say, can we should go again? Did it help the summer in the end? Yeah. 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 What? Why? I don't know really, just been focusing on the bench. Yeah. Just no reason. Can you see what pizza is Yeah, we should. Well, like those pizzas we ordered that time, I mean, they came through in the post that time. Pizza in the post? Yeah. Hiya, so I've got two things, right? One of them is coronavirus. That's not not ideal, but what's even worse is this spot on my chin. It was one of those that was like, you know, entirely my doing when you just see a tiny thing and then you pick it and squeeze it and then next minute it's a pig's foot or a pig's ear or some kind of pig attribute on your face. So that's unpleasant. Anyway, I'm training at home for the next however many days until I'm allowed out again. So, I mean, it's not that bad is it because my home gym is sick to be fair. So, uh, yeah, I can't really complain. It's fine. Max has got it as well. She gave it me. No, she probably didn't. I think Mike gave it to us both. So, anyway. Is there anything better than roasting our leftovers? Oh shit, steamy one. Mate, Yorkshire's. I prefer it in a bowl, it's just a big fucking melee of everything. It's got everything it won't go on. You sitting now? Hmm? You sitting now? Yeah. The same. Um, <clears throat> Starve a cold. No, feed a cold. Starve a fever. Get a bath and have a whiskey if you've got COVID. Bath the COVID. Bath the Rona. Content's changed, so you see my beef and I get fucking baths. And fucking Bridget Jones, mate. Right? <laughs> Bath one day. Oh, now I'm not soapy. Soapy apple. That's not what you want. <sighs> Alright, so it's probably echoey in here, isn't it? It's because everything's flat, mate. Right? Flat surfaces equals reverberation. I'm quite bored now. Leaving the house isn't essential. It's not ideal being locked up 
especially when you feel completely fine. I suppose it's so you don't give other people who might not feel fine corona, isn't it? That's what it is like, obviously. Hang on a minute, this is morning yoga though. I don't. You do. You know, I wear it every day. Maybe stop feels how I feel. Fan! Maddie Fan! So I'm shit at cat, the, the, the fucking cat thing. Cat? Was it the dog thing? I'm a dog. Yeah, I'm fucking shocking at that. Like, there's something, something's wrong with me, or? Right, you ready? I'm going on that one. Your one near the curtain. It's not, it's just, it's too cold. Cold? Okay. Yeah. Okay, is it light enough here? Yeah. My record. Oh god, we've all such content creators. I know, yeah, I'm just, 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 just hustle, mate. It's just the grind. It's 24 hours every day. I sit down. Do you know what I mean? I'm tired as fuck, mate. I'm crushing my legs. Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin. Yeah, my ankle's yes. shot, though. I can't crush my legs because my ankle. So it's another year that I've gone without getting any more flexible. I'm just like very inconsistent, man. Like I, I stretch for a bit and then get, and then what I do then after that is stop stretching. And it takes a long time, man, to really increase. Like my flexibility is like, it's probably average, do you know what I mean? Like average for a person who doesn't do anything. Like, I can touch me toes alright, I can nearly put me palms like flat on the ground when I'm kind of warmed up, that's literally it, like, but that's just one metric as well, innit, people just think hamstrings were, like, I'm, I'm quite inflexible in a lot of other ways, like, my mobility is alright, but my flexibility is not, not great, at least my lower body anyway, hips and, just hips downwards, mate, glutes, bad, so, what am I doing here, man? This year is going to be the year, man. Just say it every year. It's probably not. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to watch some routines and do it, stretch and stuff. Because why not? In a PDF in the description and down below. So make sure you go check it out. So, in an ideal world, I would like to be able to do a pike and a pancake. So. Uh, I'm very, very, very far away from being able to do that. So, I mean, who knows? I'm just, I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try to try. Do you know what I mean? That's all you can do with it, so we'll see. Day four of isolation. I've got a symptom. I've got a slightly blocked nose. So when I say it ends, they don't they don't work, mate. Anyway, 
I'm shooting some aliens. I'm playing Resistance 2 on the PS3. So, oh, let me turn this down. So, over like last one of the lockdowns, I was bored as fuck and I wanted to uh, play FIFA or something. So, I bought like a. I think I bought a PS2 first. Oh, I bought a PS1 first. It was too much of a graft trying to get it to work. You need like different cables to actually like plug it into your TV and shit. I would love to play a PS1. Then I bought a PS2. Uh, but I might show that now. Maybe I bought it for him. Fuck knows. Anyway. Uh, now I've got a PS3. I actually think the games for the PS2 are better than the games for the PS3. But they're like backwards compatible aren't they? So you can like play them. But people say like why don't you get a PS4, PS5, all that shit. I honestly never been into like... Well, I haven't been into consoles since I was about 12. Probably, probably younger actually. Uh, and I just I honestly think, right, this is a thing, right, no matter how graphics can get better than that, maybe games get more addictive or whatever, I actually don't think there's any improvement in quality. Listen to it kicking off, it's actually making, you can probably hear all the noises because it's fucking like, there's little hamsters inside it running around, and that power in it. Um, I think, honestly, there's no difference in enjoyment between like playing like an N64. How sick was Goldeneye for the N64? There's no difference in enjoyment between that and like, you know, the sickest console like PS5s and shit. At least I don't think anyway. I feel like this is just one of the modern day fucking... It's like one of those illusions where you think it's going to be better. And it, you know, it's, it's actually practically, it's, it's not better. Does that make sense? Where do I go, man? I'm stuck, mate. I don't know where to go. It's no arrow thing. Where's my arrow? Give me a map. Frag grenade. I have to jump over something. Guess not. Listen to how loud that PlayStation is, mate. Ba -da -ba -ba. Yo, how we doing? So, it is, I think it's day six of my isolation, which is good, because it means the end is almost in sight, right? So that's ideal. I'm not sure exactly when I'm free. I would have to consult a calendar, but I think this is day six, so I've just got to test negative two days in a row, and I can get out of here, man. Which is, uh, that's great, that's good news. What else is good news? Uh, I've got 95% of the functionality of my nasal passages back. Which means that I'm no longer saying mm, like that. Uh, I can say ends like n November, November, n, 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 n. So that helps as well because it's always nice to have the you know full uh, array of uh, alphabetic symbols in your vocabulary and at your disposal when you're trying to express yourself as a human being. So that's two lots of good news. I think that's it for the good news, to be honest. I'm just doing some... I'm editing some videos, mate. I've been edi editing a few videos for the other channel. Uh, obviously, you will have noticed that this channel has not been very consistent, but I'm not going to promise you that it ever will be, because it might not, all right? Because this channel serves a very distinct and specific purpose for me, which is to uh, keep me from uh, being insane. Right, 
I will elaborate on that somewhat. So <clears throat> I have a particular set of attributes, yeah. A very particular set of skills. Now they're not skills, they're more like attributes or characteristics, right? And some of these make me really good. Or well, not really good at, but really well suited to making YouTube videos, right? For example, I feel like I'm a pretty laid back guy, you know, pretty chill, uh, pretty easy going. You certainly can't be uptight when you when you make YouTube videos, right? Because sometimes they do shit, sometimes people comment mean things. I mean, rarely for me because I'm not a knobhead, but you know what I mean? Still, some people do actually think I'm a knobhead, so that's fine as well. Um, you know, sometimes your video's gonna do shit, sometimes it'll do well, sometimes your channel will grow, sometimes it won't grow, sometimes it might even shrink. Uh, you know, you gotta, it's, there's, there's like an uncertainty level with it all, but really it's not as uncertain as people think, right? People are, people get fucking, you know, twisted up about this shit because they feel like it's really uncertain, but, you know, if you trust in your ability, to look at things, uh, to analyze things uh, methodically and think, right, uh, where am I going wrong? What can I do better? You know, just the general process of improvement. Uh, then if you trust in your ability to do that, then you, you really don't need to shit yourself because if, if a few videos do shit, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, only miles, what's up with me? I'll get back to her. She's offering to go shopping for me, she's cute. Anyway, a few attributes such as that that do make me quite well suited to uh, being a YouTuber, right? Now, there's also some that make me really poorly suited to it. Things like not being able to focus on the same shit day in, day out, right? I think this is pretty normal, probably. I think like routine is a bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because in the one hand, on the one hand, it can be really productive. Uh, really good for like making progress in things uh, and it can even give you a kind of level of like comfort that you like anchor to your routine and stuff like that it can be it can be nice you know what I mean but on the other hand if it gets too deeply ingrained yeah then I feel like all the like attributes that you don't use outside of that routine become fucking like numbed like dumbed down blunted you know what I mean? So you just adapt to what you do, right? And if you do the same shit, this narrow, like, tunnel every day, then you just adapt to doing the same shit every day and being good at what you do and being shit at everything else, basically. Uh, and I, I feel like I suffer from that quite bad if I just focus on one thing for too long. And so that's where I have, like, all these other channels. Like, I've got this one. I've got, like, a finance one that I haven't uploaded on in, like, a year or something now. Maybe one day, maybe tomorrow I'll do a video on it. Who knows, you know what I mean? I've got a podcast that I do, I haven't uploaded on for like a year. I've got all these bits and bobs of like avenues of content that are really just there for my sanity because like, it's not like I really make, well, I make no money off this channel. Obviously this channel isn't monetized. Uh, you know, I, I don't, don't, I never will do any actual like paid ads on this channel, etc., etc. It's really there for my sanity because like, I try and be as consistent as I can with the with the main fitness channel, you know what I mean? The, the, uh, the bread and butter like, try and make good videos, I try and make them fairly consistently, uh, but, you know, like, if I spent a few weeks just editing videos or something, I'm just like, fuck me, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die over here, so, then I need to, like, stop it. That's the key thing, right, that I think a lot of people miss, like, you gotta, you gotta see the writing on the wall, if you're getting gradually more anxious over a course of, like, weeks and days, then you should stop, like, stop. Like what you what you're doing that's making you anxious, man. Do you know what I mean? That's how you don't like end up having a fucking f meltdown and that. I oversimplified things that are obviously some things are way more new nuanced than that. That is, you know, that's not really being very uh, empathetic towards a lot of people's sim situations, but still, I think it's still a valid point in in many situations. Uh, anyway, so that's what that's like the kind of the function that these channels serve for me. Uh, you know, so I might, might never be consistent, but you know, uh, I, I hope that's fine. It is fine, in it. Do you know what I mean? It's fine, right? Because this is another thing, right? You or your attitude, uh, not your attitude, not you. That's wrong. What you expect from this channel is a reflection of my attitude towards it, right? So you don't you, like my attitude towards it is very casual. So your expectations on me are casual. Do you know what I mean? 
I'm not, I don't, I'm not like obliged to upload every like two weeks or twice a week. Let me check the mics on. Here it is, not sick. I'm not obliged to upload every, you know, this and then, and people aren't gonna go, oh, why, you do, why aren't you uploading, or you've abandoned us, or. I really like relationships with very low expectations, do you know what I mean? No, I have no expectations on you for, for this channel specifically, right? There's no ads, no pre roll ads, there's no, uh, there's no uh, paid integration. I've got no affiliate links in the, in the, th in the uh, description. I don't give a shit if one video gets 500 views and the next one gives gets 50,000 views. I have no you have, I have no expectations on you. And in return, I expect no expectations on me, right? I think that's the foundation of an organic relationship, mate. That's uh, that's my theory anyway. So, broader point, content-wise on the uh, on the subject of paid integrations, this is another update. My other channel, the Joe Delaney channel, the fitness one, over the last like few weeks and months, I've purposely allowed my contracts to expire. Now, I'm not committing career suicide, don't worry. Got my head screwed on. Uh, but I feel like always they, they were always a means to an end, right? I've got one left to do, which will be in the next week or two. It's something for Jaybird. Uh, which was already in a contract that, uh, you know, this is the last thing in the contract. So, I mean, I, I do have my bulk and rise sponsorships, but they don't require me to do, like, uh, interruptions to the video where I do an actual ad read and stuff like that. Uh, so, they're more just about general inclusions, which is way more casual, which means they don't have to interfere with anything whatsoever, pretty much. Uh, and I, I've purposely, like, let all of my contracts run out and not take on any new things, because... If I was gonna, if I wanted to like literally quit YouTube, I could say yes to everything and just put a shit video out every day and do a sponsored thing in it and just like make a decent bit of fucking till and then just ride off into the sunset. That would be how I would commit YouTube suicide, probably. Um, I'm gonna do that again in case the light illuminates my face more nicely. Um, so I've let all these like run out because. I just feel like they were always a means to an end and like it's I'm at the point where of like pretty solid autonomy where I don't really need to now obviously you can make more money you can make more money by taking on brand deals and shit but what are you going to use it for man sometimes you don't need it's not that I don't need more I don't want more but more would be great but I feel like the cost of it to me the personal the, the personal cost to like the fact that I'd have to like upload sometimes buy a certain date or make a video that's like somehow aligned with the product or some shit like this right whatever i just like to have full freedom over everything to do and uh you know I banked a bit a bit of dough off like squarespace ads and shit like that now so i feel like it, it i don't want to didn't want to didn't want that to go on forever so now i can just solely focus on the videos, the videos themselves, without any kind of interruption, I can upload them whenever I want. I mean, I've always been, I've always had like a high degree of freedom anyway, to be fair, but this is just uh, the next level. So that's a sick thing. Now, obviously, I will be promoting my own shit. So, like, when my app is finally done, that's a whole other conversation which we'll update you on, uh, that I will be promoting that. But even then, that won't be like heavy shit. That'll be literally like 10 seconds at the end of every video or something mad like that, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's a good thing, man. I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, it's just the evolution in it. I've also been trying some reels, actually, while we're here. We'll just do a whole content conversation. I've been trying some reels on Instagram. Uh, I'm shit at them. Uh, nobody likes them. They do shit, right? But that's all right, because it's just about... You have to have a bit of humility, don't you? For a couple of years, I've pretty much neglected Instagram. I posted pictures and that, get a picture in the gym, post it, whatever, that's it. I haven't really put any effort into it, I don't give a shit about like my profile growing or my engagement or anything like that. Uh, however, I like the idea of doing some cool reels, so I'm going to try and do it. Like I said, I've tried four, they've all gone down like a fucking, not gone down shit, but like quite shit compared to like what I should expect for engagement rates, right? Now, as I said before, like, about 12 minutes ago <laughs> um, like I'm quite happy to, to, to live and deal with that this isn't a video of me saying 
you know, crying about nobody liking me shit. Do you know what I mean? Because that's not your responsibility. That's my that's my responsibility, man. It means make a better reel, make a better video, make something more engaging, etc., etc. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm at the drawing board with them, and I've done I think four up to now, uh, which are varied. Like I tried some on my camera, so, uh, I think one on my phone. Uh, you know, they varied, but I'm gonna get better at them because uh, I just fancy it. I feel like it might be a good format of thing to do because nice to make a little short video, you know, 15 second, 30 second, uh, like minute long, I think a minute's the limit. I enjoy doing that kind of shit. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get good at those as well. So this is my, uh, this is my declaration of intent that although so far I've not been very good at them. I am humble enough to know that uh, shitting yourself won't help. What will help is just having a look and saying, why is this shit? How can it be less shit? You know I mean, it's just a, it's always a good question to ask, isn't it? How can this be less shit? So, that's the update for content. It's a bit of navel gazing, that, and it? It's a bit self indulgent, but I mean, this is a channel called My Name, so I think it's fair, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna crack on with day. I need to go train. See you soon. What is it, five drops? One, two. The waiting game. Negative as fuck, mate. Yeah. Hi everyone, guess what? My sense of taste and smell has changed and now all I can taste is motherfucking freedom. Funny. So it's Freedom Day, which is great. We're on our way to the gym. Obviously, the first priority as soon as you released back into the wild. Uh, I might make an emotional video about me running out of the house. Uh, anyway, overall summary of isolation is uh, I have an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Without trying to sound too much like a fitness YouTuber. <laughs> I have an overwhelming sense of gratitude to have uh, a home office and a home gym and uh, a girlfriend who's also quite sound and does play FIFA with me with to, with varying levels of success. Uh, so that's sick. Uh, I'm glad to be free again, of course, and I feel like now I can restart my fucking life. So. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me during this lockdown period. Not, not, not lockdown. What's it called? Isolation, Isolation period. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.